What I'm going to do in this part of the presentation is to look at truncation and rounding. Okay, well, truncations is fine as well. So let's just pick a time date, 234757, something like that. Now, just remember, that's a class of character, or that's of the character class. Just paste that there. Okay, so what we can do there is turn that into a HMS object as follows. Okay, that's a time. That's actually a HMS object, also a diff time. Uh, so let's just check the class of that. Class, I'm, I'm sort of using class a lot, but it's all it's a very good habit to get into. So let's just clear the screen and we'll just bring that back up. There we go. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do there is round that, and the command is round underscore HMS, and I'll just copy and paste this back in. And we need to talk about how much we are going to round it. So I'm going to round it to the nearest five seconds. Now, that will bring it down to the nearest five second intervals, okay? Because it's just, if it's 57, it will just round down to 55. If it was 58, it would round up, okay? So it's automatically detected how much it should round, or if it should round down or round up. Now, you can change it to uh, ten, ten, uh, 10 second intervals, but at a, bit, at a much more practical level, you can change it to 300 seconds, which is five minute intervals. So if I was to round that down a bit, um, it will just round it up or down to the nearest five minutes. Now that's uh, rounding, and rounding is a bit of a it can be a little bit unpredictable. You know how I have to know how things would round up and round down. So it's a little bit of a wild horse. So in this instance, you would also have truncation, okay? And truncation rounds it down automatically. So trunk. There we go. There's no, there's no ambiguity with truncation. It always rounds down. So, for example, 49 minutes, 58 seconds gets rounded down to the, to the, the five-minute milestone just before it, okay? So, it's, uh, truncation is rounding down. So, you always know what happens with truncation. Are you rounded down to the nearest minute? There we go. Or can you do it to the nearest hour? That's good. You can actually put in a multiple there. You could put it into like two hour intervals as well. Break it up into two hour intervals. Not that that, well, I mean, there might be applications where that is useful, okay? Um, so that is rounding and truncation. And I think rounding is good, but I think truncation is very clear about what it's doing. Okay, you always know where you are with truncation and how much you want to truncate by. So, we'll leave that part done.